Morning guys, how's it going? Me, CP. Me, David. <laughs> and as you can tell, I'm just waking up, but David's been up for hours working out. Yeah, <laughs> sure have. Uh, you know, it's actually, it was, what a big weekend. Um, I guess the show aired again, which was news to me. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know about it. I Somebody told me to turn on TLC, and I guess they had a banner all weekend saying, watch this 650-pound whatever on TV. <laughs> oh, whatever. Yeah, I love that title. <laughs> hey, now keep in mind, I was pulling for a half-ton hero, and I think that sounds a lot better. I really, really wanted it, but... Uh, the peeps over at TLC, they, they know what they're doing, so we just kind of went with the flow. But anyway, so if you guys had a chance to see it again, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And fortunately, we've actually got a lot more really cool stuff coming up, so we can't talk about it a whole lot. But um, you'll definitely be able to follow us a lot more in the future on TLC. We'll put it that way, I think. That probably says enough. So um, anyway, got a lot going on, and of course it was a... An insane week, and I think we have about a million new Facebook friends. So, hello, friends. Hello. <laughs> and a few peeps following us on, twi on Twitter now. Yes, <clears throat> I just joined. You've been on yeah. that a while, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm still kind of getting the hang of the whole Twitter thing. So, um, you know what I learned is that I learned how to Twitter out to people, but I didn't know that they were actually replying in. So, um, now I can actually see some of your replies, so I can actually start to reply back. Of course, when I have my free time. Which you, is you're so, between. you're so bad at social network. Oh, I am so I'm still learning the whole social networking thing, so bear with us. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, ton more questions coming in, and so we're just gonna keep trying to keep up with them. And um, we've got a huge month ahead of us, of course, with um, reshape coming to fruition. And thank you for your patience. We're working so hard on this. In fact, we got a few more things that we wanted to actually add to the program to create a lot more value for you guys. So. Uh, bear with us. We're going to keep you in, in the loop on everything that we've got going on there. But, all right, so D has been working away with all the emails coming in. Tell me about it. How, yes. Actually, how many more emails have you gotten? You know what? You I haven't I think? checked since, you know, the show aired, but I, I, I'm guessing it's probably in the hundreds. It always is. <laughs> <laughs> if not the thousands. Yeah. So. I'm j I just hope you know that they check out our blo video blogs and our blogs yeah. and you know get some information out of there because it's so hard to try to answer questions directly with one person. Oh. Especially if you know if there's you know people asking the same question. Well, yeah, like we found that there there's so many of the same questions coming in. Um, it's a lot easier easier for us to kind of consolidate answer that one question as opposed to just going back and forth with the individual which we thought we could do at first yes. but sure enough you know it was like as 5, 10, 15 questions were, were coming in we're like oh yeah we can handle that and then when it was 100, 200, 500, 600 it's like well, okay yeah it's over our heads yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right all right this question is from Jamie she's a Facebook friend of mine she asks hi David I was wondering what I can do to target the extra weight I carry around my midsection and thighs. Nothing I do seems to target these areas. And um, you, know, so, you know, it's so funny. So we were just talking about answering mass questions and we just went for one for the specific individual. However, um, I think... Well, you know, this question it is it really you know, is universal. universal. Absolutely. It's you universal, know what? So. Everybody seems to be asking this question. And it really comes down to, um, we really can't do what we, it's called the industry spot reduction. So spot reduction is, um, for example, that poor chap in the gym who's doing 500 crunches in the corner. <laughs> doing like 500 crunches. Why? To, uh, to get rid of the, the extra layer of flab on top. Well, keep in mind, you can't flex fat. And so, granted, you can get the machinery underneath and those muscles beneath them doing, going through a muscle contraction, but keep in mind, you cannot reduce that layer of fat that's sitting up on top of that muscle by contracting the muscle underneath. Keep in mind that, that we are a whole, holistic system, if you will. Um, and so, by approaching you know, the, the whole muscular system and especially talking about the, the layer of fat that's up on top of it, um, we fat is always reduced 
as a whole. So, but typically, keep in mind, as you start to lose weight, it's gonna happen from the top down. So you're gonna see it in your cheeks first, then in your neck, then your shoulders, then your arms, and it'll move down into the abdomen and into the butt and thighs. So um, I, I really wish we could, and especially when it comes to targeting those abs and the butt and thighs. But however, it's just, it, that's not physiology. That's not proper physiology. Um, and, the, and the way that, that the human body works, what we're gonna do is we focus on a muscle contraction underneath that's gonna boost metabolic rate. Then, of course, we create a calorie deficit, and from there, body fat is lost. It's a really, really simple equation. So, you know, I, I'm not gonna get leaner biceps by doing bicep curls. What I can do is I can grow the muscle underneath. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna get leaner, tighter abs by doing a lot of crunches. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna stimulate the muscles underneath to grow. If I want to reduce the layer of body fat on top, what I do is I have to stimulate all these muscles very specifically, when, and we created workouts for that in Reshape, of course. But then we create the calorie deficit, and as we lose body fat, you're gonna see those muscles start to pop underneath. It's almost like taking a wrinkled sheet, blowing up a balloon underneath. That balloon is the muscle, and as that muscle starts to take shape, it's gonna pull that sheet tight over it. That's how you're gonna start to get some shape and some definition, some size out of the muscle, and that's how you look good. So, Hope that answers your question, Jamie. Sweet. Should we continue with this question? Or? Yeah, yeah, I think okay. we got time. All right. Well, I know that I did. Yeah, I think yeah. so. I'll talk fast on this one. All right. I am preparing to start a diet and I decided to join a gym for a quick kickstart, but I almost passed out today. I felt so sick. After just 20 minutes on the elliptical, how much exercise were you doing when you started and did you ever feel sick and out of breath? Yes. Yeah, I you know it's it's all a it's all a marathon. It's not a race. It's not a speed sprint out. So that's what people have to realize when they're getting into this. You know, the first day they're not gonna go full out and you know win, win a race at yeah. all. You know, it's small baby steps and you know, like everything else, you're not gonna jump full start into something that you're not used to. Yep, yeah, we always say less is more when it really comes down to it, and especially starting out. I mean, when, when it first comes to learning how to move again, you're gonna spend two to four weeks, maybe at 10 minutes, at a really light pace. Um, especially in the gym, you probably find um, when you're surrounded by other people as well, you have a tendency to push yourself a little bit further than you really should physically. And so even though you might be out of breath and it says you almost passed out and, you're, and you mm -hmm. felt sick, you push yourself a little bit too hard. Yeah. You know what, it, it might sound a little odd, but um, so many of us have this mentality like, oh my gosh, I need to eat less and exercise more, eat less and exercise more. Okay, you know, baby steps coming into it. Just like Dee was saying, less is more. Start off with 10 minutes and the physiological response you're gonna get from your body in just 10 minutes is actually, it's going to be so much better than pushing yourself too hard for 20 minutes. Remember, it's like playing poker with your body. You don't wanna show it all the cards at once. Your body's gonna adapt to everything we do. So if you start with 20 minutes, it means that when your body adapts to that, you gotta do 25 to get the same results. If you had started with 10, you're gonna get the exact same results at 10 and we can increase to 15. So before you know it, when you peak out around 45 or maybe even 60 minutes, we wanna make sure that we've got all that room for that growth then before we do something where we unload you and whatnot, that's in the future. So less is more. Start out nice and light, 10 to 12 minutes, just moving, getting your body moving. And that way we can bump you up to 15 in a week or two and your body's gonna move really well with that progression. So um, less is more. <laughs> all right, hey, is that, all that's right. all the questions that's for the day, it. huh? Well, so, well, yeah, just so I went through. <laughs> yeah, so far so good. Uh, we'll be pulling some more questions and we'll see you guys in a couple days. Um, no more Mexican jumping beans. I think <laughs> Where'd they go? I, I researched, oh, so by the way, about those Mexican jumping beans, they're still around. You know what? Um, I researched them a little bit and I know what makes them jump. What? I'm not gonna tell you guys though. <laughs> so Wikipedia them and you'll actually see the magic behind the Mexican jumping beans. It's kind of creepy actually. And also I opened one up. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a surprise. Oh, dude, you have to show me this. I will. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. See you next time. Seriously, dude. Show I will. <laughs>